Hello and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Today we're checking out the MC12 Corsa, the brand new Maserati added into Forza Horizon 4. That festival playlist, 50% completion reward. It's a little bit of a beast, I haven't really driven it. But today we are going to. We're going to see what it can do. So if you are new around here, consider subscribing, smash that like button, and let's check out the MC12 Corsa. Here we go then, the MC12 Corsa. Let's see what she can do. Completely bone stock. Nice and grippy, lots of downforce. Pretty much a race car for the road. A fine addition into Forza Horizon 4, if you ask me. It's the Festival Playlist 50% reward for this week. Quite easy to obtain, not too bad. We're doing 100 miles an hour on this roundabout. I'm fully locked to the right. Feathering the throttle is 105. I need to come off a little bit. That's 85. Got some drifters. We'll cruise past them. Nice beamer. Ooh, even nicer GTR. Come through, buddy. About 100 miles an hour. I'm just going round and round in circles. Making me quite dizzy. Ooh. Let's blast it up the most way. Let's see what she can do. Completely bone stock. And then we'll go and check out some upgrades. Nice and fast. Almost tens across the board on the old stats. So a pretty quick car and a pretty good handling car for that matter. Probably not as fast as the old Ferrari XX Evolution thing. That thing does like 300 and, well I've seen 330, 320 maybe miles an hour. It's just doing 210 quite comfortably. We're at the top of sixth gear, 215. Oh, hello Mini, changing lanes. We killed you there buddy. 215 miles an hour, we'll call that. 214. So flying. I'm gonna lose speed as we go up the hill here. 212. Oh, hello. Just looking at the speed, though. Not where I was going. Tell you what, let's go chuck some upgrades in. Make this thing nice and fast. And then go do a race, I suppose. Let's see what we can do. Here we go then, first things first, let's check out the old engine upgrades, what can we swap in? We're running a, what was it, a 6 litre standard? Yes, a 6 litre, 756 horsepower. We can swap in a racing V12 or a 6.3 litre V12 hybrid. Now I know this car can get 1500 horsepower, but I don't know which engine that is with. So I'm going to go ahead and find out real quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the standard engine can run 1,530 horsepower. I'm going to stick with that because I want 1,500 horsepower from my Maserati. I'm also going to stick with rear wheel drive because I'm a little bit of a madman. We are definitely... Oh, we can't do brakes. Being a race car, it's probably got the best brakes it can have. We're going to make it light as can be. I mean, it should already be as light as it can be anyway, being a race car. Okay, there's no tyre options, so I'm guessing it's already got some sort of race tyres on there. I'm hoping slicks to handle that 1,500 horsepower. We'll make them wider, because why wouldn't we? As much grip as we can get. I'm not going to change the wheels, I like these ones. I'm going to make them slightly bigger, just so they look a little bit cool. Oh, hello. We can go one more. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to do the track width. And I've already put all the engine mods I can on this thing to make that 1,500 horsepower. So we are spending, what are we spending? 38,300 credits. The painting options then, we have the manufacturer color. We just have the one. So I'm going to paint it a normal color because we also keep a good old sun strip up front. Sometimes when you put a color on, it takes all the decals off and that annoys me slightly. But this one, it does not. So that's all good. And I'm going to paint it yellow. 1500 horsepower. We haven't really fiddled with the handling, it's more the power. It's trying to spin the rear wheel slightly. I have fiddled with the gears. So let's throw this thing up the motorway, see what we can get. It's 110. Oh, hello. I've missed that. It's not gone well. Let's hop back over. Second gear, plant the throttle, and we are off like a stab rat. It's already 200 miles an hour, and we are absolutely flying right now. Fourth gear at 240 into fifth. That's a BMW, that's, I didn't see what that was, it was red, but I didn't see it. That's a wall. Oh my god, this thing is twitchy at high speed. This thing is fast. I think in the right hand, with the right tuner, this could be a contender for one of the fastest cars in the game, for sure. That's 270, comfortably in fifth. All gear. That's not going well. No, I've crashed. We've lost it, we're gone. 
Here we go, 1500 horsepower MC12 Corsa. Oh, let's go. Rear wheel drive, ruining the lim limiter in first gear. Second, 150 miles an hour already. This thing is switchy. I'm not meaning to bash him out of the way, I'm just sort of trying to get around that corner. No need to break there, boys. Or there. Here the steers real, please stop nudging me. You're unsettling the car. Someone's rear wing is just gone flying across the track. Move out the way. Oh, it's good. Feels so planted. What's this guy doing? That's a short shift. Try and keep the power down. We jump. Have a brakes. We can't win. Let's at least get a podium, Skippy. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's fast. Turn, you pig. Now look what's happened. Lost the position. Going the wrong way down the pack. And again, understeer. Why are we getting massive amounts of understeer? Seriously? Just going to bash into the side of me. No, it's slightly sideways, but come on. Right, understeer is becoming an issue with this thing. Is it the way I've tuned it? Or is it just the way it is? It's fast. Very fast. That's 220. And climbing. It's going to be a massive accident when I try and overtake this stuff, right? We're doing 240. I shouldn't have looked at the speedo. We're coming ninth. That's not good. At least it's not last place across the line. Did not do that thing justice, but it's quick and it's grippy. And in the right hands with the right tuner, it could be good. They're all S2. Class X. One more test for the MC12. Let's chuck it through the fastest speed zone in the game. Looking for 180 miles per hour. I've already got a personal best of 200.7. I'm looking to beat that today in the MC12 Corsa. Here we go then, we're looking for 200 plus. We'll say 201, then we know we've definitely beaten it. But let's rip it towards that speed trap. I mean, it's a speed zone. Okay. Oh no, it is a speed zone, it's not a speed trap. Yeah, we'll go, go towards the speed zone then. We're already at 230. If I change gear, that'd be good. Oh, they're ghosted, remember that, they're ghosted. So the jump, hands it easily peasily. 221. 0.91 or 93. I think I see it. 91. There we go. Absolutely smashed my personal best. I did that so well. I thought we'd come and try another one. Okay then. There's no need for brakes. Absolutely no need. Ow. Maybe there. 201. 38. New personal best. A little bit cheating. I bounced off that wall. But hey hey. It's a new personal best. 201.38. <laughs> So there we go, the Maserati MC12 Corsa, potentially one of the best cars in the game. I mean, it's certainly up there with them. The speed and handling as a combination is extremely good. It can take corners like they're not even there. And as for speed, I mean, second gear, 90 miles an hour now. If I could put the throttle down, we just absolutely cruise to 190. And then in fourth, yeah, you get my point. It's very, very quick and very, very impressive. And it looks good as well doing it. I mean, those, those body lines. It's a race car for the road, essentially. And I am loving it. If you want to go ahead and grab my tune, be my guest, search my file name, Skippy YouTube, or search the gamer tag, Skippy4631. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. Smash that like button because it really does help the channel out more than you know have an awesome day.